on BCA? This is Albert coming to you with another promise and a prayer. And I'm joined here with my son, Brian, to give you guys another word of encouragement. And he's actually holding the sling that David used to slay Goliath. Totally kidding. That's not actually the sling. But I will give you the exact words that David used to slay Goliath. You come to me with a sword and with the spear and with the javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you defied, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. You see, many of us are facing a giant in our life. Many of us have a stronghold that's keeping us into bondage uh, to some type of sin and we can't seem to break out or there's some type of fear, a giant in our life that can't seem to shake loose. You see, and David's strategy was not actually dependent upon the weapon to, to, to break through that stronghold. His dependence was upon the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. His dependent was actually on his relationship that he had with God. It wasn't something of that day that he had, but it's something that was ongoing. His relationship with the Lord was giving him strength to defeat the giant in his life. If you are a born again believer and you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the giant that has been ceased upon the world and has dragged us is the giant of death. And that has been defeated, not by the sling of David, but by the cross of Christ. So be blessed and be encouraged. Get close to the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, and let him bless your day. Join with me in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this word. We thank you, Lord God, that you have slain and you are victorious, Lord God. You are the Lord of hosts. We rely on you, O God, to give us strength. And may you help our relationship to grow stronger and stronger in the Lord Jesus Christ, that you may be the Lord of hosts of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For full-length sermons and new content daily, please visit bcachurch.com.